Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an absolute treat for you today. This is a custom colour scheme, Adeptus Mechanicus Force. Loads and loads of really cool and well-known models in this force, plus some forge rod extras as well. So do stick around for the rest of the video because these are coming up next. We're going to look at them in a lot more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up in this awesome Adeptus Mechanicus Force, uh, there are the two HQs and characters of the army. Uh, we have a Tech Priest Engine Seer and a Tech Priest Dominus. So two awesome characters, uh, the whole army and obviously the characters have been completed by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. So let's dive in and have a look. We'll start with the Engine Seer, really cool model. Uh, and as you can see here, the lovely, lovely colorway. Uh, you've got this complementary green and copper uh, scheme with uh, with a lovely pur uh, purple for all the gems and lenses, which complements the green really nicely. Uh, you've got loads of uh, all the wires and everything fully picked out there in reds and blues and also uh, in chevrons um, cables as well. Uh, obviously all the dials and lenses, everything picked out in that lovely purple as you mentioned. Every aspect of detail were fully highlighted, all the metal work, lots of edging on the copper, uh, all the cog symbols, Mechanicus cog symbols all fully picked out there as well, which is really, really nice. Just rotating around so you can see all the areas of detail work are completely picked out. You've got the leather pouches and everything there all done, all the little subtle little red wires all picked out as well, which is really cool. And then we've got this lovely um, lovely sort of cog pattern across his hood as well, uh, which has just been put on there as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just the Tech Priest engine seer. And then we'll have a look at the main man of the force, Dominus. Really, really cool model. It's always uh, stood out in an army, and you can use a great, great sort of sculpt, lots of extra details and bits and bobs, particularly like the glass vials on the top of them as well, with that purple liquid sloshing around. Because put a lovely sheen on those glass vials as well, just to show they obviously glass, and that the liquid is at a lovely angle as well to represent how he's hunched over. Uh, so that's just him. We've got um, two different weapon options for this guy. Uh, the client has, and doesn't know exactly which one he wants, so we've just done both of them, and then there's just a bit of blue tack there just to hold it on, but I put this one on there just for the time being. Uh, and as you can see, around all the copper work, fully highlighted, fully picked out, all the details, little cogs and little symbols and everything all fully marked out. Uh, you've got his lovely sort of friendly uh, servo skull there as well with purple lenses as well. And um, again, all the Mechanicus cogs, lovely, lovely picked out and defined, which is really cool. Uh, and some chevron cables as well, just all over the place as well, which is really nice. So that's just the Dominus. Uh, up next, we have all the infantry, and there's a lot. So stick around, that's coming up next. Uh, and then we have some heavy hitters just at the end. So there's loads of treats still to come. So keep watching, guys. See you guys in the next section. So up next we have all the infantry from this Adeptus Mechanicus force and there are two different types of infantry in this force. Uh, we've got 30 uh, Skitari Vanguard slash uh, Rangers uh, for our clients to choose between those and obviously use those. Uh, and we also have 20 Sekitari Peltas which are the Forge World Titan Guard. Really cool models, uh, obviously using the host kit of the normal Vanguard or, or um, Rangers, but obviously including some Forge World parts as well. So we'll pull some of those forward just so you can have a look at them first of all. And these are the Skitari, uh, sorry, Sekitari Peltas. So these are the really, really cool Titan Guard models. And as you can see here, really, really cool extra sort of parts. They've got these really cool backpacks plus different weapons and also different helmets as well, just to really make those stand out. So this is just one of those. Again, that really cool color scheme uh, with the green, copper, and purple, which is really nice. So that's just one of those. We'll pull forward the uh, squad leader of those as well, the Sekitari. Uh, again, you can see all the cables with chevrons all fully done, all the little purple accents done, all the cog symbols all fully painted, the little gems and lenses all sort of highlighted, uh, all the purity seals done with a little bit of script on them as well, which is really cool. You've got those really cool backpacks as well that they've got. So this is one of those. Pull forward a few more of these just so you can see. Uh, we've got two squads obviously on the front right and left and we'll just pull a few from each just so you can see those. Uh, really, really, really cool models and definitely, definitely think if you're interested in, in adding some of these to your force, uh, they've got really different kind of look to them compared to the rest of the uh, the infantry which is a really cool thing. Uh, as you can see these have all had little transfers and bits and bobs of added on them as well which is really nice just to denote squads and things. Uh, so that's just another one there. Uh, pull forward the squad leader from this squad as well as you can see again really really cool uh, sort of command in pose there as well which is really nice so that's just him and um, pull forward one more of these just so you can have a look at some of the different poses available in these awesome models that's just him he's like bounding forward there as you can see and then we'll start having a look at some of the rangers and vanguard at the back again really really cool models uh, loads of character to them as well which is really nice so again his backpack there with all the little gems and lenses and everything all fully picked out in that complementary purple as you can see little glow effect on the gun as well in some purple as well and uh, all the little chevron cables all picked out and purity seals all picked out there as well which is really nice uh, we'll pull forward one of the plasmas 
Yes, you can have a look at that. Again, you've got that lovely sort of plasma glow on him in that purple as well, with the sort of uh, bulbs all lighting up there as well, which is really nice. Uh, so let's move him around so you can see a bit more about him. So that's him there. And then uh, we'll pull forward the squad leader, or one of the squad leaders here, again with his half sort of human face, which is a rarity to see on these mechanical, uh, mechanical infantry. Again, really, really cool models. Kev spent a load of time getting these to look really, really nice. Uh, again, just grab the other plasma from the squad on the right, just so you can see him, and so you can see the consistency between two of the same model. Uh, again, really nice glow on that gun. Uh, pull forward some from the other squads. You've got different ones, obviously, with long rifles here. We'll have a look at that. Again, really, really cool. Uh, I love the steampunk-esque uh, look of them. It almost looks like a barret at the end of the uh, the gun here, the 50 cal rifle, which is really cool. So that's just the uh, long rifle. Um, and then we'll pull forward some from this squad. I've got like the different weapon options. Again, really cool there. You've got all those lenses all picked out on these as well, which is really nice. Uh, you've got that same attention to detail and care throughout the force. Uh, another one here from the middle squad's just shooting away, so that's just him. Again, all the little extra bits and bobs all highlighted and all done. We've got the squad leader from the middle squad, he's actually got one of those rifles as well, which is really cool. Again, you can see all these chevron cables done on him as well. So no, no, no sort of uh, attention to detail has been missed on these. We've really sort of put the effort in, uh, as we always do on all our projects. And then from the far right squad, another one of the plasmas, just so you can see again the consistency of another one from another squad, thereby allowing you to pull out any model from any squads and match it in perfectly with the rest of your force. Uh, just pull forward another one of these as well, just so you can see him. Again, all his lenses super picked out there, as you can see, but a really, really cool set of color schemes across this force. Uh, again, just coming up in the next section of the video, we have the On Guard Dune Crawlers, so stick around, they're coming up next. I hope you liked all these infantry. See you guys in the next section. So up last we have the two On Guard Dune Crawlers for this force, uh, really cool model, it's really really awesome with all of the extra little bits and bobs that come on it and all the detail as well. Um, these two are fully magnetised as per our client request so we've uh, been, done it so that you can obviously equip them with any weapon option uh, and we'll just pull forward once just so you can have a look at that uh, in the start off. So we'll look at them first of all and I can show you a little bit of the magnetising just get that to focus for you guys. Uh, you can see all the areas of detail fully picked out, all the lenses and everything fully done, obviously this one's got a lot of transfers on it as well. Uh, really cool little sort of turret lenses and things as well we've got this stubber just mounted on there as well which is really nice uh, and then we have all the different options on here as well little gems and lenses also picked out as well and every mechanica symbol there all highlighted as well uh, and all the multiple sort of stages of highlighting done on the armor panels as well which is really cool uh, so that's just the first one what i will do is just show you the magnetizing so obviously the little bits and bobs do drop off uh, and you can just equip the various other weapons onto these if you wish uh, if you wish to uh, include the missile launcher, you can do so and just place that on. Uh, it's all fully magnetized, which allows uh, the use of the model and all its options, which is really cool. So that's just uh, that's just one of them. Um, I'll pull forward the other one so you can have a look at him as well. Exactly the same consistency throughout. So obviously they're both painted to a very, very high standard. Uh, and as you can see, all the lovely, lovely color scheme with this uh, accent of purple on the green as well, which is really cool. Uh, really do like how steampunk these are as well. And uh, incidentally, the basin is a really lovely uh, complementary green as well for the uh, copper and also um, the rest of the uh, the colour scheme as well which is really cool uh, particularly like these longer tufts as well just to add a bit of variance in size and scale which is lovely uh, so that's just uh, the two dune crawlers I do hope you like them guys and uh, stick around to see the army in all its glory and we'll be back in a second see you guys back in a sec So thanks for checking the video out guys, I really do appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you've liked this custom colour scheme Adeptus Mechanicus Force. Uh, I know that Kev had a great time working on it and really enjoyed all the different models that are included within it. Uh, if you are interested in a commission with us then very simply all you need to do is go to the description of this video. Uh, there's a link to our website which is the contact form and contact tab. Go on there and follow the link and it will take you to a load of drop down options that you need to select which are relevant to your commission. Uh, in the message section we've got a list format that you need to write your list of models in uh, plus any other notes about your project uh, and fire that off to us to get the process started. Uh, also in the description of this video can be found all of our links to social media so Instagram, Twitter and obviously Facebook. Uh, go give us a quick like or follow on those to keep up to date with all the things that are happening at the studio and on our social media platforms. And finally while you're here on YouTube do us a big favour, give the video a thumbs up, click the bell icon to get updated with all the different videos that go up on our channel and most importantly 
drop us a subscribe so you can keep and, and see all the videos that come out of the studio. All right, thanks so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it a lot, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.